একটা না চলে এলেন একটা না চলে এলেন একদম Some of your book distributors are in doubt as to whether the uh, more philosophical books should be distributed to the general public or if we should just concentrate on simple books. Samuel has asked this question in New Zealand. But they want it on video. Those who want to take it, oh, give them. Yeah. Whether general persons or anyone. Those who like, they will see the good book. By reading the LVD devotee. Shri Lakhira Dev, last night before last you spoke from Srimad Bhagavatam 11th Cantor about how fear arises in the living entity when he misidentifies. Um, uh, my question is, how can I overcome fear? When I go in the ocean, I'm fear of sharks, uh, land, fear of snakes, uh, cows, I think they're going to... ऑटोमेटिकली Because he knows that I am Atma and soul never dies, anyone cannot cut him, so why fear? And Atma's wealth is Krishna, so it will not anyone can take, so why worry? So a devotee? is not fearful. Only when Dvitiya Abhinivesh, that when he desires Maya, this Visa, wife, children, wealth, reputation and all these things, relative, oh, then fear comes. If you personally, no suffering, but if your relatives are suffering, why you suffer? If anyone dies, your relative, why you weep? Why become unhappy? Because their body is gone. Their, their mind no, is attachment. Attachment. Identification. Because I'm attached to their body. Yeah. To their... If your attachment will go to Krishna, then no attachment here, and then we will be happy. Good, eh? Yeah, come on. You were saying first night that uh, Uttama Adhikari... More louder. Uttama Adhikari has to come down to Majjum yeah. platform to give Kripa. Yeah. So yes. can Majjum Adhikari coming up, can he also give Kripa? Yeah. He Uttama Adhikari comes down to the top of 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 the top. So can Uttama Adhikari come down to the top of the top of the top of the top of the top? will do kripa madhyam ha madhyam kripa upeksha prema maitri kripa upeksha so he will do but he do, he will do under his according his capacity uh, not beyond that shima ke antar ka shima under his capacity shima under his limit limit, limit. 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 Uh, limit. Uh -huh. what he knows by he, telling Hari Katha, and Narad, Narad will tell, oh, Krishna Bhakti should come. At once, he will dance and sing and <laughs> Prem will come. But Madhya Madhya Kari no. Gradually, he will tell Hari Katha, by that Bhakti will come, then you will dance and come. When you chant the verse, Om Agyana Timarandasya, you don't chant the Om. Is there any reason for that? Or you chant it silently? 
any slok anywhere not written. Om. Om. Om Agyanti Mirandas. It's in our songbook. It's in written in our songbook. No, no. In the original it's not. Who has done, I don't know. Agyanti Mirandas. Okay. And if anyone doing, let them do. No harm. No harm. I just wonder whether there was some significance to not chanting all. Om is generally used in any mantra. Like bees, bees mantra. Om Narayanaya Nama. Like this. Om Vasudevaya Nama. Om Burbuha. Om Bhur. In Egar Askandar, oh, okay. Lord Krishna is speaking to Uravji. There's a lot of emphasis on the uh, yoga process. Of he's explaining how we have to take the subtle elements, merge them into the false ego, then into the atma. Should we study very deeply or the, this process for meditation, or try simply to depend on the Bhagavan? <laughs> Krishna जब उद्धव को उपदेश दे रहे हैं इलेवेंथ कंट्रो में उनके योग्य पर बहुत जोर दिया है योग्य पर जोग जोग जैसे मन को इसको सूक्ष्म शरीर को मन में लगाना मन से फिर अपार जाना इन द कंक्लूजन इन द एंड ही हैज टोल्ड ओनली भक्ति योग नो अदर योग नो ध्यान योग नथिंग दे कैनॉट डू सो इन परफेक्ट यू शुड नो that that is yog means bhakti yog nothing else in gita also sarv dharmanu pratyajya maam ekam saranam means bhakti yog you should adopt adopt give up all these things Anything more? Nothing. Gurudev, nursing of Bhagavan, when Prakat Hoye, Pralad Maharaj, just I'll tell him in the first and I'll tell you English if you want. When he appeared in front of Pralad Maharaj, was it the first time he appeared or before that, you know, he was there already, Narasimha yeah. Bhagavan? Narasimha <laughs> Bhagavan was there in Vaikuntha. Yes, that was there, but Narasimha Bhagavan was there. But to Prahlad Maharaj, he came first. Yes, first he appeared. For the first time to Prahlad Maharaj, but he is eternal, Narasimha Dev. In, in, in his form as Narasimha Dev, he was yeah. there already? Yeah. Abode, in Vaikuntha, yeah. Lokalo, yes. Like Lord Ram is there, Lord Krishna and Nishnadev also eternal, always there. My question is also, the reason Narasimha Dev's mandir was there before Narasimha Dev appeared to Prahalad Maharaj? In this material world? Yeah. What? In this material world, Narasimha Dev was there in the mandir. What is the use of mandir? No, but I heard in the Prahalad Maharaj's previous life, he was the son of a prostitute or he had a relation with a prostitute and he slept in one forest. You know, he did. Yes, before then, other kalpa it was there. That it may be other kalpa. Now, hello, na. Can you see that? Monday, Nirjala Upavas kallo. Yes. Before that also, other kalpa. But other kalpa also same thing happens. You know, every time Pralad Maharaj appears later than Narasimha Bhagwan, how can he? That will be there. That's what my question is. Like Ram Chandra always comes. Now you bold way. Like that, or Pralad Mi will come. Nirjala may come. आप बोल जाइए प्रलाद महाराज जो जीव उनमें मार्ज हुए थे जब वो बेस्सा के बाते आशक्त थे कि बेस्सा उनको दूध कर देने पर ढूंढने गए तो पता नहीं था उपवास हो गया निश्चित ने मंदिर था वो तो इसे पर इसका मतलब इसे पहले मंदिर था इट मे बी लाइक जगन्नाथ टेंपल ऑलवेज इन सत्तजुगाल से इसका मतलब ये है कि 
uh, every kalpa, all the kalpas, these past times are going on eternally. Yeah. Same past times are, are they going on or different past times? Something different. changes. Changes some. Uh -huh. Something. So you are asking question, every you ask same question and different question. <laughs> same question going on or did you ask it before or did you just call that? What is the name? Jai 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 when does the devotee know uh, when to increase the chanting of his daily rounds? Uh, when to increase the number? What telling? Uh, he's asking, when can a devotee understand in his attempt to do Harinam Bhajan, when it is the good time for him to begin to increase more number of rounds, more chanting. So, if a devotee, if he feels that he is able to chant the number that Gurudev is giving, prescribing to him, like in initiation, Srila Gurudev, he examines the capacity of the devotee. And if the devotee, at the time of initiation, he sees that he's only able to chant four rounds or eight rounds, then he suggests like that. But as a devotee is advancing and his, his determination in bhajan is increasing and his steadiness in bhajan is increasing, then naturally the desire will arise in him to increase his sadhan bhajan in harinam bhajan and in all other services also. As much as your test will come, automatically it will increase. Not need of telling. But till test is not there, so Guru Vaishnava, they always remember, uh, remind you that you should do. Whether your test is there or not, you must. By doing so, test will come. Gurudev, some devotees were telling, they were telling uh, Jayadev Prabhu that you're telling maybe only four rounds, but you're telling at least 16. Oh. 64. 64, not yeah. at least. Uh, and then, correct? To someone, I tell that even one round you should do. Yes. For small but baby. Why? But for disciples, for... <laughs> And Why I am telling? Why is telling? This name is so attractive and powerful. And powerful. Mm. Even one round will come and it will itself increase. But e, there should be no aparad, offenses to Vaishnava, Nam and Krishna. What is your expectation of somebody who is taking Hari Nam from you? But was there somebody taken some holy name for me? What is your expectation? How many rounds does Gurudev want them to chant? He's asking, when you give Hari Nam to any devotee, he's asking, what is the number of rounds you that you desire for them to chant? If you, I never. Uh, when, you give, when you give Hari Nam, you want them to yeah. increase, not just like, like decrease. Just uh, like in the case of our yeah, in the case of our Guru Maharaj, not 16 you know, this is this is a very big difference that Iskan sees, because our Guru Maharaj, Swami Maharaj, he prescribed 16 rounds very strict. Unless somebody could chant that, he would not give them Hari Nam. So. So it's like this, his question is connected with that, that in your case, uh, it no, appears... No, no, we always tell you, minimum 16 I have to chant and gradually have to increase, because it will always like this. He for tells... Some, yeah, but for small children, yeah. you can chant one round, two rounds for them, uh, concession. Yeah. Children. For yeah. adults, it will minimum have to chant 16 rounds, and not stagnant there, have to increase gradually. But in, always, in any case, he yeah. cannot do... Yes. Or begin from 8, 10, 12, yes. and try to do... Gradually, mm -hmm. uh, 20, 24, mm -hmm. 32. 32. Mm -hmm. My Guru Dev never told me how many rounds you should chant. Mm -hmm. no? Never he told. Mm -hmm. You should chant, go on, bus. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. more liberal. Yeah. They, you know, uh, previously, the, the leaders of ISKCON, they also inquired about this from Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Maharaj. 
and they asked him during the time of your Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, what was his system for giving Harinam initiation? Did he prescribe, did he require that anyone should chant a specific number of rounds? So then he told, he said there was no consideration of a specific number. But he said, in general, if someone can chant one lakh, yes. Yes. this is very good. <laughs> and then he also said, then he explained that what Prabhupada wanted from us was the mood of service and preaching. And in times of when there is not enough time to chant, then at least four rounds minimum should be chanted. This is what he told Malika Upavasnoi. Without those who are not chanting one lakh, hmm. Krishna will not take prasad from them. Mm -hmm. He used to tell. Mm, yes. Guru Dai, when Swami is... When one lakh, is. what kind? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh. It should <laughs> be at kind? least Namabhas, not Namapara. Mm -hmm. Guru Dai, when Swamiji arrived in New York, he told his followers he used to chant 64 rounds. Mm -hmm. Then their faces he went... <laughs> he, <laughs> he said, yeah. then no, they, at they least tried. 32. And still... Couldn't then he couldn't said, then minimum 16, 16 rounds. Hello. Yeah. 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 Neil, Neil. He's, he's unsure. He was thinking maybe to take initiation, but unsure. Uncertain. Uncertain. But, yes. un but, un but, but he should decide, if you want to be happy in this life and transcendent out, you must take. Who we'll follow this feet? Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Gurudev. You are in classes? Okay. Beautiful classes. Beautiful or wonderful? wonderful. <laughs> Beautiful and very wonderful. <laughs> Not fantastic? Ah. <laughs> Super fantastic. Excellent. <laughs> You said this night that you would come to our yes. house? Yeah, tomorrow, today, tomorrow, tomorrow, any day, any time, oh, without any point. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I don't know
There goes the surfers. Who is the first lady to go? Hey! Brother <laughs> Ani, one lady at least. You know why Jamadar Maharaj went? He went to, he went to protect you. Yeah, last night I did. <coughs> oh yeah, I thought it. Huh? Hey, wait, that way for You can stand up out here, but it's a bit twist. You won't be able to wait. If you can swim, you can swim. I swim when you can pull a flood. I'm not, I'm not a good time. I wouldn't do it again. Oh, oh, they put it in that truck? Yeah, yeah, the truck is not going to, is it four-wheel drive? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, so it won't slip. No, it's a maternal to good drive. It's not good, but is it muddy and slippery? It's a little bit, but he's already tested it. It will go up the hill. It did this morning when this land. Yeah, and he was saying, local people, people who know the area. Intrepid Demodon Thank you. 
<laughs> you told us that Srila Trivikram Maharaj, he was a very powerful swimmer. Yes, he used to swim swimmer, across yes. Ganga. Yeah, yeah. When he's old, also he's In his old age also, yeah. <laughs> you could have. I am very happy to come to Bredvalla Prabhu house. I wanted to see my garden there. <laughs> so many vegetables were there. Gurudev, you, when you came here, for three weeks you explained anapita chirin chira here. In this house? Two? Three weeks you explained Three weeks? <laughs> I think two weeks. One, two, two weeks three, here one, and one, one week, week at Devendranath. Yeah. So we had not only two days. Anapita chirin chira. What are you saying? You purchase water, fill the tank. First year we had the program in this house. Yeah, they the house, the water, so many devotees. Everywhere. <laughs> Everybody camping on the river. Gurudev, remember Jill Gurudev, yesterday, when Madhav Maharaj gave class in the morning, he told us yesterday morning in his class about your life so many details. Uh -huh, yeah. And he was describing to us how when they were young and you were uh, c controlling young. them and discipline, you were giving them discipline, and always when you would become upset with them, you would beat them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how no one Maharaj, can go out of mortal without the permission. Even yeah. for fast food is yeah. not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> and and Madhav Maharaj was telling all these stories about different devotees who were getting beaten. And I was remembering Srila Gorgovinda Maharaj, because his disciples also told us so many stories how he used to beat, but with so much love and affection. This is the thing that we understood. After beating next, after two years, we will call and give Srila Gorgovinda Maharaj. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Gurudev, remember we did Jagai Madai drama here? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. was also in the drama. He was. Oh. Yes. 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 said, you Yes. 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 We remember that Gurudev chastised you. He said, excellent production. Now he said, oh, yeah? He said, you learned it. He said, you learned it. Did you learn it? 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 Then afterwards, Guru Dev, you blessed me. I would never get married again in any future birth, not even in a dream. First time in Hawaii, her husband came and stole her bag. No, now husband is Gurudev, I have a question. Gurudev. How soon are you get? Yes, question. I have a question. First you have to swim over the river. <laughs> 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 Gurudev, when Putana came, then Krishna sucked out her life air and gave her a very nice position, like Dashri. Then Kaliya, Kaliya Nath, he became a boat and was pulling Radha and Krishna, doing Nopalila with them. And, I, and then I heard Yom, uh, Vr, uh, Rishabhasura and Keshi, they also were pulling chariots in Braj and Radha and Krishna riding in chariots. So Krishna, you say when anyone comes to Braj, comes to Krishna, he doesn't let them go. But Kamsa, he came to Braj, he wanted to kill 
Krishna, and he came himself personally to do the job. But then he was sent out and told, you can never come back. Well, she's telling that, <coughs> that whenever any demon would come to Braj, like Putana, Krishna would, give, would kill her, giving her high position, and keeping her always in Braj, eternally. So she's saying that Krishna did this for so many demons, that like Kaliya, he engaged Kaliya in being like a horse and riding around. No, no, his, uh, no boat. Yeah, boat. Yeah. And, and Keshi, Keshi like that. Yeah. Putin, uh, so she's asking that, but so, so Krishna never lets go of any devotee who has come to Braj, then Krishna will keep him there always. <coughs> so she's asking because, you know, the story that Kangs, he came to Braj. And then at that time, when uh, Yoga Purnamasi turned him into old lady and he had to make cow dung patties, and then after that he was kicked away. So she's asking, why why Kangs did not get eternal position? In because Kangsa came first and not direct to Krishna, the Jogmaya. The Jogmaya punished him. Oh. Uh, other also came direct to Krishna. He did enter Braj. Yeah, but he didn't come direct to Krishna. Was, how, why not? Why he, he wanted to? Yeah, but why wasn't he allowed to? Everyone else was. Huh? But Putana didn't stay in Raj. He's in Gaurav. Still, Gurudev says she, he didn't let her go. All why he has no answer. <laughs> Every why has no answer. Why Krishna never died? Why? Because that's his nature, is eternal. Why? 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 Be happy in this world and don't stand so. Prabhu, Jai Radhe.